Hello everybody, welcome to episode, I don't know, one, I guess, of this new fortress that it will be called. Let's go look at the name. If I like it, then we'll keep it. The Hatchet of Immortals, perfect for the theme of this fortress, which is kill everybody. That's literally it. We're just gonna, humans, dwarves, elves, goblins, everybody's gonna die. We're gonna have our whole place just based on military, and uh, let's go see how that turns out. We got, we gotta get ourselves uh some miners to begin with, because, you know, no dwarves without no miners. We gotta get ourselves these guys affiliated with each other. Uh, what else do we gotta get? We gotta get ourselves a metalsmith. Yeah, we gotta get those wood burner. No, no. I'll give that one affiliated to the worker. The woodcutter, I meant to say. Carpenter. What else do we got for this next person, right? We gotta give him, we gotta upgrade that. We gotta get his furnace operating up. And we should also have some people to go farming and fishing. Let's go look at this. We gotta get ourselves a grower, herbalist, less brewer. All of them related. A cook. And a fisherman. What else shall we get? We should get a... Somebody that can actually fight. You know, that'd be a good thing actually let's go see we'll give him yeah for nah competent shield user armor user fighter and uh, that will be it for our dwarven people but we gotta get ourselves some more things like food and all that you know delete some of that most of this stuff I'm deleting, like we could just create back in the other thing, and I don't know. I, we got pond turtles. Delicious pond turtles. We gotta get ourselves some plump helmets, aka the most overpowered food in the game any time of the week, any time of the month. Dank plump helmets everywhere. Give yourself a second. Nah. Alright, we'll get myself one cat. Deal with ticks and worms and all that. We gotta get some dogs, which I'm planning to breed like crazy for the war machine, as I said before. And some decent food for our people will be ducks. And uh, gooses, why not? Geese, goose, geeses. We gotta get ourselves some turkeys. Most of this stuff I'm just making. Wait, are chickens not in here? Where do we at? Oh, there they are. Okay, we gotta get ourselves one rooster and I'll just get myself five hens. Why not? The rest of it I'll put into some more beer and rum, I guess. That'll be pretty useful later on. Some more plump helmet spawn will be very well. And let's go see what else there is. Uh, I'm just adding everything right here right now, or else I think it'd be kind of difficult to do other things. Give myself two roosters and maybe another. There you go. And the rest of it will just go to plump helmets. Here we start our adventure. Who day? I wait for it to load. It's kind of a bigger map than usual. But we'll see how it turns out. Hopefully it'll turn out pretty good. This will be our new home! <laughs> exactly. We have finally made it to our dwarven outpost. And as you can see, we have all our dwarves right here, with a frozen pond. For some reason, I think we're in winter time, possibly. Possibly. And so, yeah, I'm planning to build my fort across inside here and make it just a giant little mess of a place. Whatever we gotta do. First, I'll build the first designated 
hallway and rooms for every single dwarf right now. I gotta get my people working quickly right now or else they'll be lazy and do nothing at all. Makes, makes sense. What else do we got? Right, we got giant weren't reeds. Reeds. Gotta look what this is. A huge monster in the form of a rain. Its, feature, its feathers are brown. His skin is pink and his eyes are black. He is thin. A giant one. A huge monster. I'm not sure if that'll be a problem for us, but we'll see later on. We gotta start the military quickly. We gotta start making our... First I'll make the stockpiles and farms for everybody to live in, and then I'll make the workshops and... All that other jazz. Let's go see what else. I'll just make that one a little bigger. Let's see what that is. We can also have an area designated for some farms. Let's go look. Bam. Actually, no, that's too huge for a farm. Okay, that's good. And then after that, I'll place a little bit of rooms for workshops. Wow, that was bad. Okay, whatever. We got to do this. Bam, bam. Wazam. And so we should have our people starting off immediately. Now, what I'm tr the main plan, like I said before, was to make this a military one. And so I want everybody to be like legendary and all that. Get everybody angry at get all the traitors and all that. Hopefully have sieges against everybody. And what I'm planning to do later on in this series is uh I find that some people oop, I just found some gold. Let's go see where that is. We gotta snap that. We could use that later on, but we're not really gonna trade, so yeah. We're gonna basically just play this until we get some people mad and when we reach our first siege I'm playing it f to be for the rest of the thing to just be us fighting monsters and sieges and that's the times that I'll be recording so I hope everybody will enjoy this but right now we gotta start production now as in the beginning you know, it'll be slow paced and it'll increase later on yep we gotta get that working now what else do we got here a colony of bumblebees that would be very helpful. Speaking that now we can have mead. You know, many ah, people no like that. Fishing. There's nothing to catch in the other stops. Okay then. Well, let's go look what else there is to get. The place seems to be mostly plain, just, just grass. Yep. With few areas to get stuff, but, you know, bumblebees seem to be at a couple areas, so that'll be pretty good. My plan for this one, for this short time right now, will be to create myself a small, little living area for everybody and a tiny military, you could say. Yeah. You see, my people are working away at their jobs. We got a peasant right here. Most of my people are not working, but that seems fine right now. Right now, we'll just cut down a ton of trees for a danger room, and if you don't know what that is, it basically just makes your dwarves overpowered in a very short span of time. It's kind of like cheating, but that's the only way I can make the thing work if I wanted to, you know, do it. So we'll have our people working, and, oh, we got that, so it's probably a good idea to start working on beds for our dwarves. It's a good thing. Very good. And so, our farm will be placed somewhere around here, but we can't place it in our original spot. Speaking of, it's not full of soil of a sort. And so let's go see if we can find anything good right here. There you go. Pretty good farm. Remember that the, the name of it is Splatter Lance. 
Welcome to Splatterlands, man. Or, as it's called originally, in the Axes of Immortals. Oh, we got bees coming out right there, as you can see. We got chicken. Oh, damn. I forgot we gotta get her some. There's nothing that can't be. Just go somewhere else then. I'll just designate a spot for him to go fishing then. There you go. Where's that fishing? There you go. Okay. Now we need. I'm trying to build a basic amount of things right now. As you can see, we got Diorite as our main substance. To work on this stuff, you have struck worth the class. Nice. Just mine that part down then, because it doesn't seem that there's too much soil in the bottom layers right now. It's a possibility, unless I dig down. Let's go see who's not working. You are not working. As that is our military dwarf. But we will give him the craft of woodworking and stoneworking. To just speed up production at the moment. And we also have to start making a stockpile for wood. And all the other goodies that we have brought with us. Like some of our furniture. And our food. Bam, that's pretty good. Good food right there. Gotta see what my man is doing right now. Alright, so my, most of my people will just be chickens. Chickens, ducks, everything that's all they're gonna eat. It's gonna be a plain life, but you know, pretty exciting if you're gonna fight people to the death most of the time. Let's go see what else we get. Right here at the beginning, we gotta get ourselves a tanner, a craft dwarf. We'll get, oh yeah, we need ourselves a still to get actually some drinks after everybody gets mad. Or right, bam, there you go. Now everybody's doing their job. And for a craft dwarf, we shall make him create some nest boxes to aid in production of chicken growth, Operation Chicken. And as you can see right here, it seems like our farming area where we'll make our little farm will be working pretty well right now, but stockpiles will be our main source to get stuff. Farms will be our main source of food. And everybody will just work. utterly destroyed or if we actually make it to actually do something successful that would be pretty useful people are working on the construction very good make myself a couple of doors Everybody's main focus so far 
there seems to be wood, food, and furniture when they finish the wood. Can't complain right now though because nobody's really working except this one right here. scattered everywhere, nobody putting it away. But they seem to be doing their job quite well. Now we need to make stuff a ton of nest boxes for all these animals. The first one will be the chicken area. As that area will be with the most food in it so far from the most animals. But everybody seems to be working so let's go see if we're just gonna finish this off when we get the dorms and uh, the farm plot finished. Hopefully also in the meantime we'll also have... Oh, actually, we might be able to finish this thing also as well. We can construct quite a couple of doors. I'll just put them all in high priority. There you go. There you go. You see, he's working now. And the still has been produced. Strike from plants. Oh, the farm has also been finished. So let's go get ourselves the farm plot. Of this. Let's go see. There it is. Oh, there it is. I believe I can see that. And bam, there's the farm plot being made. Most likely nothing but pump pumps in there, but that's mostly good. Is that a good source for this nutrition? Diet. Struck lapis lazuli. It's pretty good again. Let's go look at this. As you can see, oh, we stuck Morion. Or Mori. Yeah, Mori. Probably. Our man is still fishing. Oh, did he, is that something? Mini acorn flies. Okay. What do we have in our actual... Okay, well it doesn't seem that we have very nice animals, a giant, giant area. Large monster with a long nose and it's brown features. She's crawly and the feathers are brown, her skin is pale pink, her eyes are black. Now let's go see what animals we got. Two hunt camo. Mr. Cigarette Camel Dude.
Joseph's and Dogs, though, so I forgot that. I think 101 in Dalmatian is pretty soon. Or at least I hope it is. The more war dogs, the better. Even though it would be better with, like, leopards. Which I'll try to capture from the elves if any of them decide to come. But right now, we live a slow life. starting to farm, which is very good. Gotta place ourselves in beds. Starting the production of people that actually be happy right now. Let's go see. Okay, we still got quite a lot of doors. Oh, no we don't. We should be to just designate Now let's go see what else we got. person has been, let's go see what our fish or dwarf is doing, or a cook, he's still fishing, I'm not annoyed after drinking water without a well, we, we got, we got drinks, man, there's no problem in that, you can do that whenever you want, most people get to socialize right now and do stuff like that, that's not how it's gonna be later on, oh, that's why nobody's doing anything, they're all sleeping, well, that doesn't seem to be a very good thing. Right. 